When a patient goes through surgery, um, the main goal of the surgery is to remove every, like all the cancer cells in the patient. But in order to do that, you have to basically look at the tumor under a microscope. So traditionally, in order to do that, you have to make these slides. So they are actually pretty time consuming and costly to make. So our project seeks to basically image the tissue directly. So the faster and cheaper we can do this, the easier it is for surgeons to complete the surgery. The slide on the right, it really takes a lot of expertise. It takes uh, very expensive equipment and it also takes time. Especially during the, at the time of the surgery, you do not have the luxury to look at, uh, to get a lot of these slices. Traditionally, the imaging equipment, for example, a camera or a microscope, is designed separately from any imaging processing algorithm that comes afterwards. But Deep DOF is the first microscope that's designed with the post-processing algorithm in mind. So it has this special optical element, the face mask, and a post-processing algorithm, a unit, and both of them are jointly trained using deep learning. It helps the clinicians, surgeons, and pathologists to look at uh, the irregular surfaces of the tissue samples directly without uh, refocusing all the time. And the way it works is that uh, we have developed this deep learning architecture that can optimize both the optical design and the image processing so that uh, it can bring what is out of focus back into focus digitally. We have demonstrated that this end-to-end -end jointly trained optics plus pulse processing algorithm really works and it gives us better performance compared to when you have the separate components trained individually. Another component which is from the clinical perspective is that you can actually use this data-driven approach to build something very simple yet very effective and that really means we can bring these technologies into the more resource constrained areas that cannot afford some of the more expensive equipment or personnel. Now they can also have access to these state-of-the-art um, imaging techniques.